There are so many really positive things happening at the moment. Trying to focus on the positive. Oops. Trying to make sure that everything up here is positive and not negative. I think there's lots of positives going on at the moment, particularly the England rugby team. I'm really looking forward to the Six Nations. On the other hand, we have all these negative agendas going on. And the last thing I wanted to, to, to be drawn into was what's going on with Harry and Meghan. Well, I'm drawn in now. Do you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of something called the drama triangle. The drama triangle is a really useful psychological tool by somebody called Cartman. And it, you can use it to make sure that you avoid conflict in the workplace and have better relationships. Maybe, maybe some people in our royal family need to have a look at it. Just saying. In a nutshell, the drama triangle describes three different types of behaviors. First one is the victim. Oh, poor me. I am the passive and persecuted underdog who feels hopeless and powerless and is unable to make decisions, solve problems, or take any pleasure in life. Oh, woe is me, the victim. The second is the persecutor. The persecutor. It's all your fault. They're the villain of the piece. They're controlling, they're oppressive and critical, and they express their power in a very aggressive manner. The persecutor, basically a bully. And the third one is the rescuer. Let me help you. They are the hero of the piece. They're basically an enabler, and they'll feel guilty if they don't go to the rescue of anyone that they feel needs to be rescued. Because that's where they find their value, in helping other people. But by doing that, they're actually avoiding their own problems. Now I'm sure you'll recognize people in your workplace who are rescuers, persecutors, and victims. <laughs> You're probably showing some of these behaviors yourself on a daily basis. Really important to do two things. First, try and spot this type of behavior, spot it in other people. Second thing, try and recognize it when you do it yourself. Really simple thing to do is to try and switch the triangle upside down. For a victim, especially if you're behaving like a victim, try and recognize that you actually have some power. There's always things you can do to get out of a situation. There's always things you can take control of. So take control of those things. If you're a persecutor, if you find yourself oppressing somebody or criticizing a person because they're not doing very well, stop and think. Maybe you should challenge them instead. Challenge them positively. and See if you can get them to change their behavior and to improve what they're doing. And if you're a rescuer, if you feel that need to go and rescue everybody that you think is having a bad day, don't. Be a coach instead. Ask questions. Help them help themselves and stop doing it for them. The drama triangle. Really useful to help you build relationships and get on better with people. Or maybe with the old royal family here and there.